Hi folks, this is a tutorial on installing Flex Menus 2 into a Business Catalyst environment. Business Catalyst is a CRM system like Drupal or WordPress. It's for staff people and non-coders. It's in between uh, WordPress and Drupal in terms of complexity. It's easier to manage. It has built-in CRM features, blogs, and newsletters. So it has uh, the ability to be very expansive in social media. Uh, it has a drawback in that it is not built from the ground up for responsive menu systems. It has the ability to res to create separate layouts for tablets and phones or desktops. We create templates for each type of product you want. If you want to create a single design like I do with its responsive natively then you need a responsive menu system. The problem here is that the native development systems inside of it are not responsive. You have to do your own CMS, uh, CSS, I'm sorry. So just as a preview, this is what a module menu looks like uh, where you've created a separate menu system. You have to use the version 2 of the menu system. This is a, a new feature in, in Adobe's Business Catalyst in the last development cycle. And the menu ID is the, simply the menu that you're going to use. There's, uh, this is a home menu, so uh, you pick that from the, me uh, the menus that, uh, here. You choose the menu you want. So each one will have its own uh, number. So that's how this works, a module menu. So, the, and the, f the final part is a module template group, and th in this case it's utility. I'm going to replace this whole menu system, but utility is a separate set of CSS specifically for this designed menu. And it's required in the version 2 if you want to use a separate layout. Now, just to give you a preview of, of the menu systems, in, in menus, uh, let's say we'll go to the About menu. Uh, Adobe will create it in several different ways. One is a default menu, and that is these are all dynamic menus, but the default menu is just simply one that, that Adobe will create automatically, and you can be horizontal or vertical, but it is not responsive. The What we're going to be using is CSS HTML uh, HT, HTML only because that's the only one that's going to work with Flexa menus properly. So uh, I'm not going to save this. I'm just going to step out of this. I'm using a a background development for dealer supply, and this is actually a template that I'm going to modify. Uh, it's actually happened to be perfect for them because they are a uh, a plumbing and plumbing supply company, and in the I want to create my own background menu here, black menu, that is responsive. This one is partially responsive, but when it gets to submenus, it's no longer responsive. And this came with a, a template uh, system that uh, was part of BC Gurus uh, that they gave for free. And I, it's just something that I'm going to use for this development. Normally, I will start from dividing from scratch, but this one happened to be the third set I'm doing a business catalyst and it just seemed to be fit for their use so I'm just gonna work on with with their system for this one now uh, switch over to Dreamweaver and show you what I'm doing here I've got created a brand new page uh, with a black background and I'm using that because I don't want the menu system to be black and you can create um, I'm gonna move that out of the way uh, 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 and I want to show you a little bit of what's going on here. You can insert Flex Menus 2 and insert a brand new menu. And if you get this interface, you get to choose your background color. You can choose uh, one of 21 layouts. You can make it light or dark. And uh, you can do it, look what, preview the mobile look. Name the menu. So I've named, I'm going to name this one Dealer and also work with the width, enable modal, mobile menus, and insert the menu. However, I've already created one 
that I'm going to use for this site. So I'm going to insert it in an existing menu system. And since I have one, Dealer's Menu, I'm going to insert it. And we'll see that it is set up. And I'm looking in the inspector now. And I'm going to create it so that at tablet width 955, it switches over uh, to a tablet version. Now what I found is that because of Adobe's detection systems, if your browser window goes smaller than 955, depending on your layout and design, the menu system will wrap instead of turn into a mobile menu. So I'm going to reduce the size of this uh, to begin with in the start menu. You notice here I'm in the looking at the mobile settings. There's other things you can modify, the, the secondary colors, the background colors, the secondary menu uh, systems, and you can even change your uh, menu links here. However, since the menus in, in this are dynamic, I don't want to worry about uh, these colors, uh, these menu titles. This is all going to be created dynamically by uh, Business Catalyst. So I'm going to save this. And now let's see, we're going to take a look at Flex menus. What are these? Uh, these are just the attached CSS files that are be being created by this menu system. So we're going to look now at the file system.